Welcome to Weekly Oceania Listens. My name is Martin Brennan. I'm Director of Partnerships and Political Support. I'd like to welcome Jeb Brookman uh, to Weekly Oceania and welcome Jeb. As the founder of ICLE, um, back in the 19, early 1990s, perhaps you could give us a date for the start, but just can you just uh, describe how it came to be? What, what, were the, what, what were the agendas and the impetus that brought ICLE about? Well, in the 1980s in the United States, um, there was a large network of local governments. I was very involved in, in coordinating that network um, that uh, about 600 local governmental leaders were very interested on uh, how our foreign policy in the United States was impacting negatively on our cities in particular. Mm -hmm. For instance, we were very engaged in a number of foreign wars. It was leading to refugees coming to the cities, but the social services uh, uh, budgets for, for our cities were being cut at the same time. So that got, um, for the first time, at these early stages of globalization, um, a group of city leaders together to figure out how they could influence foreign policy issues. And, and we had uh, a movement in the U.S. called Municipal Foreign Policy that was based out of that. And when the um, Cold War came to an end and uh, politics changed in the United States, uh, I just had the thought, we figured out how to um, have an impact on foreign issues through organizing en masse as uh, local councils, how could we take on global environmental issues? And I uh, had the chance through one of the mayors who was uh, long involved, Mayor Larry Agron of Irvine, California, to meet the uh, atmospheric chemist who had discovered the problem with the stratospheric ozone layer. Mm -hmm. Dr. Sherwood Rowland, he subsequently received the Nobel Prize, and we organized a meeting for about 30 larger cities in the U.S to discuss how those cities could phase out CFCs, the compounds that were uh, destroying the problem, um, in, a, in a way to begin to address the problem, but also to put pressure on the first Bush administration to sign up with Montreal Protocol. And we discovered along the way that some of these cities um, accounted for very significant measurable parts of the global problem. Irvine itself, because of its aerospace industry, accounted for one eight hundredth of global emissions of CFC 113. An amazing mm -hmm. thing. And in two years' time, they reduced that in half. So we realized this whole thing of um, uh, acting local to deal with global problems was really quite viable, and it, and it had a scientific basis for us. And that hit the media uh, in a very powerful way. The UN Environment Agency called us the day after that meeting, uh, and the head of the office in New York said, you've got to come meet with us. We need to talk about how to get into business together and do more of this stuff. Uh, and a few weeks later, we met. He said, um, what can we do together? What do you need from me? And I said, I would like a week at the United Nations. Uh, in you know, It was 1989 then. In 1990, let's give ourselves some time to hold the first global meeting of cities hosted by the UN to deal with uh, global sustainability issues. Right. ICLEI was chartered at that meeting, yes. and the session in which the charter was approved was chaired by, at that time, Lord Mayor Sally Ann Atkinson from Brisbane. Okay. And thus started uh, ICLEI internationally, and then of course right. in Australia we started in 1998, although there were obviously relationships yeah. that were being developed over that time. And then moving on to 1992 and the Earth Summit, right. how, how did that come about? What, well, the, what was the process So the, uh, the ideas of what we wanted to take to the Earth Summit um, were gestated in that Congress, and the two main ones were Local Agenda 21, mm -hmm. how do you engage cities in doing sustainable development planning, and how do we get the international community to realize that if there's going to be a Global Agenda 21, you've got to engage people at the community and the council level mm -hmm. in implementing that. So I went after the Ickley World Congress was September 1990, uh, in December 1990, I managed to get a meeting with the Secretary General of the Earth Summit, Morris Strong. Uh, he was totally taken by the idea and appointed some staff in, in Geneva to work to make sure that we got the language in Agenda 21 to endorse it, and that led to its um, endorsement in, in Rio de Janeiro. The other one was Cities for Climate Protection. Mm -hmm. um, we had a meeting of 15 um, critical cities around the world, um, from around the world, uh, in New York at the Congress in 1990 and they agreed to join the Urban CO2 Reduction Project. We got funding from the US EPA, and we were then getting into business developing how to do inventories of greenhouse gases at the urban level, uh, funding to develop software tools. So the CCP that became the, the cutting edge of uh, Oceania's development here in Australia um, was gestated as mm. well in September 1990. A rich and fascinating history, and I'm sure one that Dickley will continue to work on 
for the future. So thank you very much to Jeb Brugman. You've been listening to and watching Inkly Oceania Listens. Uh, thank you and goodbye.